save it. And then I'm gonna close this one and then I'll go to the other one. I'm gonna do a same thing, Excel file, but this time it shouldn't be Shopify pay. Well, Shopify pay, okay. We'll keep it there. But this one is gonna be going into our checking account this time instead of the PayPal account in our bank feeds. We'll have two bank feeds. So I'm gonna save this one. This is gonna be the amount that ties into our practice problem over here. There's the amount in our practice problem. Let's save that. I'm gonna say file, save as, and we'll make it a uh, comma sliced one again. Boom. And let's say this is number two, number two. And okay. So let's close this one. And then if I go into my information, these ones are the comma sliced ones as opposed to the, the CSV files versus the Excel files. So now I'm just gonna upload this information into our bank feeds and this is how you would set up bank feeds or import the information if, if you're importing as opposed to a link to the bank feed. So I'm gonna go to the banking section. I'm gonna go to uh, the banking up top. And then if you didn't have these tags in here already, then you didn't have any bank accounts linked. You can, you can add the bank accounts as you go, but I already have them in place. So I'm gonna say upload from a file upload from a file and let's say we're going to upload then locate that file let's make it large so we can see them and can i make it large this way there we go so this is going to be checking account bank feed two let's do that one first it just pulls in very nice i'm going to put this into the checking account now if you didn't have an account set up you can add the checking account as you go it's going to be a bank type of account that we're connecting the bank feeds to, but we're uploading instead of connecting to the bank. And then it has, uh, the first column is a header and column one column instead of two column. What's the date? M M D D Y Y Y Y is it date date description should tie out to the bank memo. And then the amount ties out to the amount. So that looks good. So I'm going to say, okay, there's our one item I'm going to pull in and boom, it did it. And so we'll save it. Import completed. Looks good. And so now if I scroll down into my data for the checking account, I've got my uh, Shopify has been added. So that looks good. So obviously when, when I, when we do this practice problem in here, we're gonna do the same thing. We'll enter the journal entry, which will go into the clearing account. And then we'll be able to match that out to the Shopify payment. And once I enter the Shopify payment, it will net out to the clearing account. So let's add, so this. So let's do the same thing over here and add, uh, not a link, but upload another one. This time, however, it's gonna be, let's hit the drop down, boom. It's gonna be for a checking account for the PayPal, PayPal bank feed and continue. And this is gonna be for the PayPal bank and continue. And we're gonna say drop down date, month, month, day, day, year, year, date, date, description's gonna to go to the bank memo and then amount, boom, continue. Pick it off, that's the one you want. Check it off, pick it off, check it off. And we'll say, okay, picking it off is when you throw something at someone. Checking it off is checking it off. There's, there's, there's a difference, get it right. Okay, so I'm gonna say tab to the left. And then, so there's our Shopify pay. So, so now when we imagine our practice problem, what we'll do in the future presentation is imagine we pull this in with a journal entry which we'll put it into the clearing accounts. And then we'll see our items clear the bank feeds. And when, and when we see it clear the bank feeds, we'll put the other side to the clearing account, which will bring the clearing account back down to zero. That's the idea. That's what we'll do next time. Uh, it'll, it'll be great.